Welcome to this video about the exciting and innovative uses of ChatGTP in the field of alternate history. Alternate history is a genre of fiction and historical inquiry that explores what the world would look like if key events in history had taken a different course. With its powerful language generation capabilities, ChatGPT has revolutionized the way that we approach alternate history by providing a unique tool for exploring hypothetical scenarios and imagining different outcomes. In this video, we will explore some of the most exciting ways in which ChatGTP is being used to create alternate history narratives and simulations, and we will see how this technology is shedding new light on forces that shape our world. Whether you are a fan of alternate history, a student of history, or simply interested in the intersection of technology and the humanities, this video is for you. So sit back, relax, and get ready to experience the exciting world of ChatGDP and alternate history. As you may have realized, that introduction was not written by me. It was written by ChatGPT. I have, in recent weeks, been bombarded with information about ChatGPT and its consequences, with friends of mine admitting to using it for school, while my university has already warned me against doing it. But for the people out of the loop, like the introduction alluded to, ChatGPT is the latest iteration of AI-generated text. From a simple prompt, ChatGPT can write anything you like. In the not-so-distant past, AI-generated text was often disappointing and incoherent, and provided little benefit apart from laughs, the novelty, and the potential for future development. But ChatGPT has now captured the minds of people all over the world, as ChatGPT is no longer just a novelty, but has already written university-level essays which have received passing, if not great grades. Now, I am currently trying to build up a channel where I mostly write alternate history scenarios, make videos out of them, and release them on YouTube. But if AI is already capable of writing college-level essays, that means that I run the risk of being replaced as a content creator as well. This led to me deciding to check out ChatGPT and the potentials of the program for alternate history as it stands. So to test the program, I gave it some prompts to write alternate history with. The first was very simple, write an alternate history. ChatGPT decided to make their scenario about what if the USSR never collapsed and the Cold War continues. Here it goes. In this alternate history scenario, the USSR never collapses and the Cold War continues into the 21st century. The Iron Curtain remains in place and the two superpowers remain locked in a state of political and military tension. However, as the world moves towards greater globalization, the leaders of the USSR and the United States begin to see the benefits of increased cooperation and open borders. In the early 2020s, a joint space mission to Mars is proposed as a symbol of unity and a step towards a more peaceful future. The mission is a massive success, and the two countries' relationship continues to thaw. Over the next decade, Trade and cultural exchanges flourishes, and the once divided world begins to see the benefits of cooperation. By 2040, the USSR and the US have formed a political and economic alliance, and the world is no longer divided by ideology. The joint space program expands, and humanity begins to explore the new solar system in earnest. Colonization of the Moon and Mars becomes a reality, and a new era of exploration and discovery begins. As the world becomes more interconnected, national borders become less important, and a new global government is formed to address the challenges facing humanity. With the threat of global conflict eliminated, the world enters a new age of peace and prosperity, and the legacy of the once divided world is remembered only as a distant memory. Fascinating. It is undoubtedly an interesting concept the AI came up with here, and while unrealistic, I really like how the AI clearly understands the basic concept of alternate history, as well as the basics of time passing, storylines, and actions and consequences. The world doesn't randomly unite, the world goes on a joint space adventure first. It may be basic, but I am impressed by ChatGTP. This scenario is not unlike some submissions I've gotten from viewers in the past. To continue the test, I gave it, what if Germany won World War I as a prompt? One of the classic prompts of alternate history. Surely, the AI will be able to write a scenario for such a popular concept. If Germany had won World War I, it would have significant impacts on the political and economic landscape of Europe and the world. Germany would have likely become the dominant power in Europe, and the Treaty of Versailles would not have been signed. The League of Nations would not have been formed, and the international order would have been fundamentally different. The aftermath of the war would have been characterized by a restructured Europe with different borders a repositioned global balance of power, and possibly even the creation of new countries. 
The social and cultural effects would have also been widespread and the events that led to World War II might have played out differently. Okay, this one shows a lot less potential. I am sometimes criticized for keeping my scenarios too vague and that I should try to be more bold in my predictions for the sake of fun, but ChatGTP takes this to the next level by only mentioning vague allusions to possible changes. I feel like maybe the issue here is that I'm giving the AI prompts that are too vague. I will retry this prompt later while asking for more specifics. But first, I want to test the AI's fantasy by giving it the prompt, what if pterodactyls never went extinct? Here it goes. If pterodactyls never went extinct, then they would likely still exist today and play a role in the ecosystem. However, it is impossible to know for sure what the exact impact would be since their extinction 65 million years ago has allowed for the evolution and diversification of other species, which has in turn shaped the current state of the ecosystem. Additionally, modern human development and activity would likely have a significant impact on the habitat and populations of pterodactyls. Okay, again, that one was pretty bad, as the AI essentially gave up in the second cent. But to be fair to the AI, I didn't give him much to work with, and I would really struggle with giving a good answer as well, even after doing research. So, I decided to go with a more popular concept to test their fantasy, and instead ask the AI, what if Harry Potter was real? If Harry Potter existed, it would have profound impacts on the world and on our understanding of reality. The magical world of Harry Potter has captured the imaginations of millions of people and has inspired a vast cultural phenomenon, but the existence of magic and wizards would fundamentally alter our understanding of the world and raise many questions about the nature of reality. It is likely that the discovery of magic would lead to significant social and cultural changes and would have an impact on fields such as science, philosophy and religion. However, since Harry Potter is a work of fiction, he does not exist in reality. Here, instead of writing a scenario, the AI essentially just tells me that Harry Potter is culturally influential and magic would surely impact science and stuff. Not really what I had hoped for and quite a letdown in terms of a scenario. Here I started thinking and started altering the requests I made of the AI. The AI kept giving me small responses and with so little words I would struggle to make decent scenarios myself. So I asked the AI to do, what if Germany won World War I again? but asked the AI for 1500 words. I also specified that it should be a script for a video. The AI ignored my 1500 word goal, but did make a significantly longer response this time at 500 words. Enjoy! World War I is one of the most significant events of the 20th century, with its outcome shaping the world as we know it today. But what if the outcome was different? What if Germany had won the Great War instead of the Allies? In this video, we'll take a look at what Europe might have looked like if Germany had emerged victorious from World War I. We can imagine that the end of the war would have looked very different if Germany had won. Instead of signing the Treaty of Versailles, which imposed heavy penalties on Germany, the defeated allies would have had to accept the terms imposed by the victors. Germany would have likely demanded large territorial gains, including the annexations of territories in France, Belgium and Russia. This would have redrawn the map of Europe and changed the balance of power on the continent. The economic impact of a German victory in World War I would have been significant. Germany would have gained control over the valuable coal and iron resources of the territories they annexed, which would have allowed them to become the dominant economic power in Europe. The defeated allies would have been forced to pay reparations to Germany, further exacerbating their economic difficulties. This would have led to widespread poverty and economic hardship, particularly in France and Britain. The political landscape of Europe would have also been dramatically altered by German victory in World War I. The victory would have likely strengthened imperialistic and nationalistic movements as the German Empire would have been seen as the dominant power on the continent. This could lead to the emergence of new states and a collapse of existing ones. The Russian Revolution, for example, may not have taken place if Germany had won the war or it could have taken a completely different form. The cultural impact of a German victory in World War I would have also been profound. The German Empire would have been seen as the cultural center of Europe, with German language, music and art playing a dominant role in shaping the continent's cultural identity. This could have had a profound impact on the development of European art, literature and music, as artists and writers would have been influenced by the dominant German culture. In conclusion, a German victory in World War I would have dramatically altered the course of European history. 
the continent would have looked very different with a redrawn map, a dominant German Empire and a political and cultural landscape shaped by the victorious power. But of course, this is all speculation as we can never know for certain what would have happened if the outcome of World War I was different. But it's interesting to imagine what Europe might have looked like if the outcome of the war had been different. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking historical content. While it's still quite surface level, can this really be distinguished from a surface level alternate history scenario written by a person? I don't think so. Sure, it's a bit lacking in excitement and detail, but the broad strokes of a decent alternate history video are certainly here. If a viewer came up to me with a script like this, I would say add a bit of detail and you're well on your way. Of course, the script the AI wrote is quite basic, but in my opinion, the potential is clear and a bit terrifying. The AI, to some extent, is already capable of writing alternate history. So in conclusion, with the right prompts and directions, ChatGPT is already extremely impressive. I have no doubt that somewhere down the road, the AI will be able to write decent, full-length alternate history scenarios, and that is quite a terrifying prospect. But for now, ChatGPT's main strength seems to be in the factual, making it very useful to let it do your homework or college assignments. But for the moment, ChatGPT seems to lack the detail and fantasy to write alternate history in such a way that it can directly threaten my job just yet. With that, I will take the outro from ChatGPT and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking historical content. A quick shout out to the patrons who help me dedicate more time and effort to the channel by supporting me monetarily. Consider supporting me there for about two weeks worth of early access content. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.